first verse, the phrase on a white picket fence symbolizes the classic form of the American dream. A flawless middle class suburban life with a happy, fa with a happy family and a stable job. But the fact that this is preceded by the words trapped in reflects the unrealistic nature of the dream. Like Perry says, we are trapped in it. Trapped in the perception that to be content, we must attain this perfect lifestyle. As we know, avoiding ever-present problems does not make them disappear. Similarly, achieving the American dream, if even possible, will not either. An ironic truth that is hard to accept. This is further emphasized with the line, so comfortable we're living in a bubble, which is repeated three times throughout the song. Perry hints at the unsettling comfort we feel in response to our refusal to step out of our comfort zone by referencing Obama's farewell speech where he said, quote, it's become safer to retreat into our own bubbles, surrounded by people who look like us and share the same political outlook and never challenge our assumptions, end quote. In contrast to Obama's speech, Trump's derogatory attitude towards the belief of Trump's derogatory attitude towards immigrants has flooded newspapers in the past few months. By instilling fear and encouraging the belief of American supremacy, he's created a somewhat isolationist environment. Perry acknowledges the dangers of America going in this direction and once again ridicules our inability to challenge what is slowly becoming the norm. Aren't you lonely, Perry asks, up there in utopia where nothing will ever be enough. Utopia, a place of ultimate perfection and yet loneliness as well, a sense of emptiness as well. This paradox highlights the idealist mindset that allows us to ignore unleashed problems. By questioning the motive behind staying safe, Perry urges the listener to take risks and to be, critic and to be purposefully critical of the things that are happening around him. As the song progresses, her condemning tone does not grow softer. She sings, so put your rose-colored glasses on poking fun at society's instinct to sugarcoat the truth and shield ourselves from reality. Once the chorus begins, she switches to a note of sarcasm as she metaphorically calls the listener to drown out the sounds of the world with their favorite song. Instead of persevering, Perry implies that we often take the easy way out, simply choose to ignore the facts. By keeping the song on repeat, we adhere to familiarity. We remain in our cycle of disregard. While Perry draws attention to society's weaknesses, Skip Marley offers enlightenment during the bridge of the song. He desires to break the walls to connect, which is a response to Perry's line, living in a bubble. Skip's one stanza conveys his disappointment. It evokes feelings of regret, which is effective in motivating the listener to physically go out of their way to do something, to break the cycle. He continues by referring to author authoritative figures as liars, people who feed feeble truth, time and time again. He reminds the listener to be discerning between facts and opinions, even more so if the speaker is a person of power. Chain to the Rhythm contains a dense message that is very relevant while we live in uncertain times. We should actively participate in the game of life if we want to see change within our society. With lyrics so uninhibited and music so appealing, Perry cleverly ensures that this message is not one we can ignore. This is our cue to act. Thank you.